Um, so I've got a dodgy hip, Dave's got a dodgy hip and a dodgy knee, so we look like a right pair. There's tie wires. Yes, tie wires. There we go. Snails pace here, but we're getting there. Happy lousy Friday, the 22nd I think. Slab prep day today and it's raining. We've got a building inspector coming around 11. So it's uh, pressure's on. Alex is not feeling well today so he's currently sat in the van trying to just like wait it out and see if he feels a bit better. So me and customer Dave, we're doing this stoning up for now. Um, so I've got a dodgy hip, Dave's got a dodgy hip and a dodgy knee, so we look like a right pair getting this stoning up done. So hopefully Alex feels better in a bit. So I'll take you over to show you where we're up to so far. Got the rakes ready. No concrete today. We never get the concrete the same days of slab prep anymore. Too much pressure. So, I'll show you where we're up to. So here we are. Nice strong quick form planks, the three, three inch thick planks, down to our other plank. Uh, bottom line is our hardcore line because I messed up. This is going to be a 65mm down because it's having a screed, so everything drops 65mm. So, as you can see, the lintels are in. We've put some pipe bedding around the pipes before we concrete the cavity, which we're going to do later. There's tie wires, yes, tie wires. So, yeah. Main thing is get this get the stone in as quick as we can so we can get that whackered and then um, <coughs> there's our insulation. We me and Alex have picked up the 25 mil this morning from Fairwoods, so we'll cut that up later. So I'm gonna stick here and tile up somewhere and get this stone in. First turn in. There you go. First turn in, that's got us a good <clears throat> four inches plus the trench around the edge. So I've got the whacker ready. I'm gonna give us a whacker this this level, this layer, ready for the next turn to come in. It's in bags, it's 40 mil lengths MOT and it's wet. It's absolute murder. Oh, we need Alex, but Alex is not up to it. He's he's uh, currently in the van. Not good. I think he might end up getting picked up to be honest. So yeah, I'm going to get this thing in and get a bit of whacker in there.
um, it's better, well, it's fit. So it's 25 to 12. Things have changed a bit since I spoke to you last. I'm two tonne short stone. Building inspector's been cancelled because he was due it half an hour ago. And um, if it's not ready and he has to come back, he'll get charged for an extra visit. So he's been cancelled. Um, Fairwood's bringing us two tonne of stone out as soon as he gets the wagon back which is better because he can swing it onto the drive, slash the bag. Um, anyone who doesn't like us slashing the bags, just look away when we slash the bags. And then we can spade it off the floor. We were going to pick it up a ton at a time in the back of the van, which is, it's hard enough getting out of a bag. But getting out of the bag, out of the bag, at the back of the van is just the pits, banging your head and no room. So we've gone for the easy option. We wanted to concrete tomorrow, but that's not possible, so sort of at peace with that now. I wasn't before. I've had my tantrum off camera. Um, so now we've got a full squad. I've only been stuck without Dave helping me this morning and he's, he's worse than me. He's got a bad knee and a bad hip. So um, we're going to regroup. We're going to get the concrete done in the cavity while we're waiting for the stone and then the stone will be coming just after dinner hopefully and then we'll get the rest of it prepped. Did you tell me I was poisoned? That's why I wasn't fit. He had tablets. He hadn't eaten enough before he took his tablets, so it, did, it didn't, didn't go well. So right, let's go and get sorted. I'll get out of the family, there's no traffic. Fairwood sorting us out. I think they you know, got paid for about 15 minutes ago. So anyone who thinks we should keep the bags, look away now. Text you three times. That's one done. I'm going to text her right now. Thanks to John, our driver. Always helpful, that lad. And there's our two ton, which is a lot, a lot, lot driving stuff from a huge grey. Fantastic stuff. Now it's it's going to go in twice as quick because we're spading off the ground. And I'll show you what we're up to. Right, bit of um, YouTube production talk there. And some came out from it then. Everything's drying out. So. so, we'd rather have been concreting tomorrow, but it's not going to happen unfortunately. So, on the plus side, pressure's off. We've got a full half day now to get finished, and we've got an extra man. 
Nice one, Alex. I need, I need to go as much to pick him up, but he said no. So, um, we're going to swap rolls here because I'm struggling pushing the barrow, so I'm going to start loading the barrow and then um, bring that through. We'll be able to move that plank in a minute and then bring the stuff forward and then lift the plank up again because it's a, it is steep dropping down there. So, yeah, it's a days of ups and downs again. So we're back on the up and the sun's come out for us. So, I don't know where to put you. So uh, that's seven is lunch now, and I'm uh, I'm earning my keep today. As uh, as you know, before I wasn't here. Well, I'll give you the I'll give you the short story before people start saying I'm a I'm a lazy little get. <laughs> uh, I took some cocodon off my head this morning, and it did not sit right with me. So I was out of it. I was dizzy. I was feeling sick. I was uh, I was out of action. But uh, I managed to sleep it off a little bit in the van, so now I'm up and ready to go. So while, while Dad's having his dinner, I'm going to earn back the time that I've lost this morning by getting as much of this in as I can. Which, uh, there's a lot, as I, uh, I've seen it myself. So yeah, I'll throw you back on time lapse and we'll keep cracking on.
sand blinding, then it'll be visqueen insulation visqueen. You know the song and dance by now. Cold kitchen strip. Yes. Okay. There we go. Snail's house here. Look, we're getting there. We're here till it's done. I don't even know what time it is because my phone's charging. So, Alex is getting a small mix in so we can get these bricks in. Get them in. Get that block repaired. Get some block up this, just up this reveal. So, then what's left of the mortar, we're going to add just throw the stoke, the ballast in, and we're going to concrete. So, okay. we'll rip these down up to damp. Now, we're just going to fit them around the perimeter like we always do. I'm going to take them out again and we're going to do our brickwork repairs and then we're going to put them back in again and then we're going to cut our this green so we'll put, put your name time lapse for this Right, as you can see, it's raining. All the tools got wet, the radio got wet, the laser level got wet. We're just about to start brickwork. So as soon as you put a mix in, it poured down. And it's still raining at the moment, so who knows if it's going to stop or not. So we still haven't put any of the screen down yet, and we need to get two lots of the screen and the insulation down yet. 
cannot leave it like that, otherwise it's just into a swamp. All the bricks are getting wet. Yeah, loads of fun. Look at the size of that, we still haven't got it prepped yet. Four tons gone in that. Well, we took a quick uh, pit stop to the spa while it was raining. I uh, got us got us some snacks, some croissants and some cookies. Just, just take a look at that. That is that was quite a horrible little downpour we had, and it could it could come back any time because there's been storms predicted. So, Dad is uh, um, my task now is I'm going to get as much stuff as I can cleaned up and put away to get it out of the rain and our goal for the rest of the day is get that slab ready for concrete at least right now dad is using my mix to get the last seven bricks on the foundation and then one block came loose from doing the uh, slab prep so we just need to bed that back on and then add the 150 mil blocks to the cavity to for the divider so the concrete doesn't go in the cavity there you go, I've lost my English, <laughs> but that's our plan, get it, get that finished and get everything out of the rain, even Dad's poor little nemesis cup is soaked, but yeah, I'll uh, throw you on time lapse somewhere while Dad's uh, finishing off and I'll uh, get what I can done here, so see you in a bit. story by the inspector <clears throat> so if you know us we've done quite a few extensions we know what we're doing and we always have this is our setting we have our cold bridge and strip then the visqueen and then obviously on top of this will be another visqueen concrete well the inspector has decided no he doesn't want that 
he wants the bridging to be on the outside of the, the screen. To put it lightly, because that's how it's always been done. That's how all our inspectors have approved it for. That's just how it's done. But obviously, this um, this one's very. I think he's fresh blood and he's all by the books, so he's there asking ridiculous stuff that should even be. Giving us a long day. Yeah, giving us a long day, but yeah. But anyway, here's the progress we've made so far. We've got insulation in, and obviously that first bit of visqueen. We've managed, Dad managed to get those last bricks patched, which I need to join, by the way. And um, we've got our little dividers in here, so. Getting the last of the insulation put in now. We've fought through all that rain, as you saw with the, um, the little snack run. We've gone through all that, all the stuff's put away. He likes a five month to go. Not surprised. So, uh, <laughs> I guess you could say this is the most nightmarish uh, slab prep we've ever done. So, all that's left to do, which we'll probably do next time we come here, which I'm not sure when that is. Customer's not here tomorrow, so maybe the day after or something. Not sure. <coughs> Excuse me. But obviously, once this um, other layer of your screen's down, we've got the concrete, and then we're concreting the inside of the cavity with all that blue circle stone you can see there. Because obviously that's quite a deep, it's quite a deep, wide cavity, so we're gonna concrete that up. And we'll concrete this up. Oh, and that'll be us for today. Thank you all very much for watching. If you enjoyed, be sure to give a thumbs up. And if you're new to the channel and you want to see more, be sure to subscribe, tap on that bell, that way you'll always be notified when we upload. Uh, any additional support you wish to give, which is, oh, isn't necessary, but highly appreciated, there's the super thanks. Again, not necessary, but very much appreciated. All, all support for the channel, greatly appreciated. Thank you. This has been, finally, Bricklaying with Steve and Alex, and we'll see you in the next one.